Is walking or running better for fat loss? My name is Lauren Conlon. I'm a first form elite trainer and we get this question all the time. So understandably, people want to know what is going to be better for their fat loss efforts and both are going to be great options. But if we're looking at just time duration, 30 minutes of a run is going to be significantly more calories burned than 30 minutes of a walk. You could, of course, match the calories by walking for longer, wearing a weight vest, doing an incline, things like that. But if we're looking for just bang for your buck in terms of time, running is going to burn more calories, which of course is going to be important for fat loss. However, there are two important things to consider when you are choosing a modality for your cardio. First, for a lot of people, running is going to be a lot more challenging in terms of technique and just getting kind of beat up and like banged up. A lot of people, you know, if you run on my knees, my shins, my this, my that, my back, and if you are running and maybe, yeah, you're having a great calorie burn and calorie output for a few weeks, but now, you're not able to train effectively, you're not able to do your normal activity on a day-to-day -day basis, so your actual step count is lower and you're not resistance training, well then what's the point of going for a few runs a week where you could maybe either match that output with more frequent walking, just higher activity, or even reducing your food intake a little bit more. So first, really take into consideration, is running going to maybe injure you more than walking might? And then also just in general, thinking about your training performance and your recovery. For a lot of people, running is gonna be really hard on their joints. And just in general, like I said, it can be very injury provoking um, or even just kind of like that nagging pain. So when we are thinking about fat loss, it's not just about how much fat are we losing, we also wanna take into consideration how are we maintaining our muscle mass. And you guys know that that is so incredibly important. And the best way that we can do that is one, through our diet, of course, having a high protein diet, but two, by consistently resistance training and doing that on a week to week basis for a very long period of time. So if running is one, injuring you, or two, it's reducing your training performance, meaning your lifting performances, that is ultimately going to impact your fat loss and the body composition that you're going to have and what you're looking to achieve. So you have both options at your disposal. You can strictly choose to run for your cardio, you can strictly choose to walk, or you can do a combination of the two, whatever works best for you, or you could walk and run in the same session. So hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more, and we'll talk to you next time. You got the picture? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. <laughs> Your girl can't keep this face much longer. <laughs>